What's up everybody? I have an amazing video for you guys here. We got Ask Not Yellow with I believe Bambietta versus the Kurapika Green to the left side here. Ask Not's very fast deck guys, only utilizes four energy, doesn't need any more than that. Whereas Kurapika needs some time to set up, but once it's set up, it can do anything a deck really needs to do to become successful the only problem with Kurapika is it could be rushed down the aggro is very hard for it to deal with because it needs to get to seven before it can do anything now as not is very fast deck it can control the board control smaller numbers once you get to bigger numbers gonna be hard for the deck to actually control it but there we are Zeppa has played down it's a really strong start for Kurapika because he wants to just go through the deck and draw exactly what he needs. Asnats also having a nice setup here with a 0-1 cost. Both of them are rideable onto the Asnats. And therefore, looks like uh, Kurapika is going to go ahead and draw an extra draw. Unfortunately, didn't get the draw he needs to into a Zepal. So maybe this right side yellow could take advantage of this and maybe push forwards. Depends on his hand, really. Wow, and we do see a uh, throwing away of the special. So unless you have like three specials in hand, it's really not advisable to do so. Yeah, we see the yellow is already starting the aggression. I'm not sure. I don't think he could have played out the two. Well, I mean, potentially he could have moved both of these units out and start attacking early. Ooh, it doesn't matter anymore because that color actually saved the game oh and you can actually play that anywhere so you were able to put it onto the right side that's very impressive oh onto uh, you can play the leorio to the back side that's very impressive let's go ahead and see what green wants to do here another zeppile i see a basho i think basho was a little bit better decision here basho into a neon would have been perfect for this turn unfortunately we throw another special out, so we just don't like these specials at all. Now we're just playing Kurapikas at the front. This is very scary, guys. Definitely not exactly how you really want to be playing this game. I think playing Bashu and Tunion was perfect there. You were set up perfectly for it. Now, you didn't have a Kurapika to raid, so potentially maybe that's what this uh, uh, turn was for, was to kind of set up a Karapika uh, to kind of attack but it's just been played out a little bit weirdly because the Karapika could be set in the backwards where Zepile is, is forwards and Zepile would be doing the same exact thing already Bambietta is doing Bambietta things Bambietta rests into removal of the Karapika and then we just start attacking very very nice so that's potentially what was happening. I think the Kurapika just wanted to set up some defenses. And they were kind of lucky that the uh, right side yellow did not have an ass knot. Because that would have been a huge turn. Because you could control the uh, Basho as well. So you not only you kill the Kurapika right side. Uh, but you also remove the Basho as well. So that was a big potential there. But I don't think we have the ass knots. Oh, because we do have enough to raid. We just didn't raid at all. Let's see what Kurapika wants to do here. There is potential moving the Basho for, for uh, Zepile forwards and the Basho backwards. Uh, you can go into a Neon. Or no, first we'll start with the Kurapika. I mean, I, I get it. Maybe the Neon is necessary. We want to play it so we can actually read with it. Okay, we play two Kurapikas. We keep the card on top. You cannot actually use that special, so I'm not sure why they're reading into it. Honestly, the ideal position was to just move the Zeppal forwards into the Neon. I'm not sure why we didn't do that. We'll see what's going to happen here. It just seems like this Kropika is always playing from behind because he never gets to attack. Oh no, he missed one action point, so doesn't get to draw, doesn't get to do anything with it. Because his hand was full and couldn't do any anything. Um, let's see how Asnot is going to take advantage of the situation. It starts with a draw. 
Now, honestly, left side Karapika is going to start attacking next turn, potentially, because all they have to do is move the Zepile forwards, and now they are unlocked the Karapikas, and they can actually raid with them, finally. So, that's, I think, what we're going to see next turn. We could have also moved the Zepile this turn, just for defense, so it doesn't make sense to me why the left side Karapika just kept that Zepile in the back end. Just doesn't make sense at all, because we could have just used it for an extra defensive unit. But I, I guess against an Asnot, uh, smaller cards are really bad because they just stay on the board and they do no value. So maybe that's what's the idea behind this. But really nice uh, draw there. Looks like Asnot as well didn't do a perfect turn where he missed. Um, I guess he didn't need to utilize too much of his hand. He felt a little bit uh, ahead. So, yeah, that's how that as not works. What happens is because he has a rested unit, when you're resting, you go ahead and give him another plus 1k, so you become he becomes 4k, and so when you guard, you die. That's why you don't want to block that. He could have blocked one of the, uh, the other units. So this Karapika is really not playing to perfection today. Let's see, he still can move the Zepal forwards into the Karapika 7 cost, that would be, into the Neon's Karapika 7 cost, that would be the only option he has here. If he doesn't do that, this is uh, kind of crazy. Oh no, instead they just kill the Zepal. So obviously, uh, I don't know if that's inexperience or there's just some kind of uh, <laughs> mindset behind this, but just doesn't seem to me to make any sense we also can raid on that Karapika now to remove the Bambietta so at least we have some aggression here well but it would have been nice to have that Zepile forwards I don't even know why we didn't move it that was just weird anyways now we can raid no no we raid now because Karapika doesn't activate no you can't use the Emperor you can't it doesn't attack So instead what we need to do is we need to raid. Oh my god. I get it. You don't want to raid the Kurapika forecast, but you... I just don't get that decision, guys. But I understand you don't want to raid the Kurapika... Because he's a 4k. But wow. I think that's going to set us one turn behind, guys. What? But, I mean, I, I it makes sense. The Karapika 4k is just so expensive. We need some defensive units right now. Makes sense to play one more defensive unit. I get it. But we also needed to remove that Bambietta, I believe. I don't know if that's going to be a problem here. Now, when the s not comes out... He's just going to control that Kurapika and we might be actually losing this game here. Yeah, I believe he will be able to one energy into an Asnot and he will be able to control the Kurapika. This is why we need to... Honestly, I believe it was already too late. No matter what happens here, it was just too late. It just felt like Asnot had all the fears in hand that were necessary. And now Asnot has the potential to end the game here. He's attacking with a 3k. With a 4k actually. Oh, color. Oh, my, that might actually save the game. Oh, no. We don't have anything to play. No. No. Our color that was supposed to save us cannot save us. Netero in the trigger zone. And that's it, guys. Double Netero. Oh, my God. Unfortunate. Honestly, Kurapika... There was a position there, there was a point in time where he just couldn't come back after it. I think Karapika has a tough matchup against aggressive decks. Interested in your opinions, guys. What do you think about this matchup? Leave a comment down below.